All right, today I'm gonna try and swap out my front brakes. I just kind of feel a little dangerous. Okay, so the parts I got um, was, I went with Detroit Axle. It seemed like the best bang for my buck. The pads and the rotors and the cleaner and fluid was about 125 bucks on Amazon. What you need is a, uh, I have a 3 8 drive but you need the 3 8 hex. It's a big boy. All right, step one, we have to jack up the front of the truck, put a jack stand on the side we're working on, and then put a block behind the back tire. All right, step two, we gotta loosen these lug nuts, um, and then raise it a little bit higher and get that jack stand up another notch. All right, now that we have the tire off, let's grab the rotor and the brake pad. All right, to loosen the rotor, we gotta loosen this bolt. It's kind of an odd tool, but gotta have it. Um, and then there's another one down here. Get the camera way up in here. Here's the other one. Okay, we pull this caliper off. We have a prop here. We don't want the pressure on this line. Yeah, first we'll just pop this rotor off. I was gonna replace the ABS sensor line here. You see how rusty that plate is? I can like poke my finger through it. Um, tried to turn the nut and it just rounds right out. It's basically a circle now, so I can't get it off. Anyway, we'll save that for another day. New rotor. All right, we're gonna swap the brake pads out. Not in terrible condition, but like I said, I'm messing with it, so we're going all new. Okay, this one is going to be a little harder. Just have to pry up here. That one is pretty worn. Okay, here's a new one. Actually, it was easier without the screwdriver, believe it or not. Okay, I forgot the important part. Let's take this one out. The new pads are, you know, maximum thickness. So, and so is the rotor. The caliper won't fit on it anymore. So this needs to get depressed. So I have a C-clamp that I'll go get right now. Pretty sure this C-clamp has a lifetime warranty. And I'm pretty sure I broke it. That might work. This is just a temporary thing. I like to put one lug nut. So this thing isn't flopping all over the place when I try to put the caliper back on. So basically, from this point of view, it looks like that's properly mounted, but it ain't gonna screw in. So the best way to get this thing properly seated I just have to get on my back. See how it looked perfect from the top point of view, from the bottom point of view? I ain't even close. So. Come on. Alright. How does that look from the top? It looks good from the bottom. Uh, it could be better, but it looks fine. It's the exact same thing the other side did. It. See how it kind of curves out a little bit? Yeah. Anyway, let's tighten it up. Plus, put some lube on these hats. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, getting these back in the hole is very difficult. You have to shimmy this and then shine a super bright light up here in the wheel well, straight down so you can like see just a millimeter of where the hole is and then line it up properly. 
We'll tighten these and then we'll spray brake cleaner on these rotors. All right, let's spray the brake cleaner before we put the tires back on. Wait a minute. Where's the English? There we go, brake and parts cleaner. Alright, we'll put the tire on and test this.